I'm Wesley Taylor. I'm Krista Rodriguez. And we're from the Adams Family. I play Wednesday. I play Lucas Beinecke. And, and we're answering your questions. Your questions. And um, I actually have a question. What's that? How did we end up on Ask a Star? I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> we're not no, famous enough no for this idea. interview. But in fact, we'll take it. What happened when you walked in here earlier today? Oh, the, the Broadway.com receptionist didn't know my name. <laughs> Um, didn't know when. I mean, I just expected. So upsetting. It's just it's absurd, think actually. People are falling at your feet, but mm. now that we've been on Ask a Star, but you know. People will know who we are now. We'll let you know how our lives change. Okay. Krista. Okay. Yes. This is from Jessica. Okay. If you could switch roles with anyone in the cast of The Adams Family for a night, who would it be and why? I don't know. I guess maybe I'd want to be Gomez, like something completely different. Although I could never do it as well as Nathan. Wow. I mean, I'm not trying to take your job, Nathan, because you're the only one who can do it. But I think that would be completely different than what I do. What would completely you want to do? Um, grandma. Oh, yeah, Grandma. That's a good you get, one. You get to do whatever the hell you want. Or Lurch. You get to do Lurch. Like your own show in your head. Yeah, that's got to be fun. Yeah. There's good, good parts in our show. All right, you ready? Yes. From Deborah. What music do you like to jam out to backstage at the show? Deborah, <laughs> I don't, well, okay, no. I share a dressing room with Zach, who plays Lurch, and he... He has a ton of music. He is always playing music and always rocking out and always singing Mariah Carey. And, uh, you know, I'm not a big music listener at the show. I, I like to read and... Um, do push-ups. Do push-ups. <laughs> Um, edit and uh, I, 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 I get on the computer, but the very popular a... web series Billy Green is uh, made, created, edited, and sent during, out during, during the performances of the Adam Sandler. During performance hours when I'm not on stage. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but no, I, I, I don't listen to a lot of music backstage. This is from Helen. I love seeing you on Gossip Girl. This is probably a question that you never get. Yeah. Um, was it Which fun one? to kiss Chase, Chase Crawford? Crawford? <laughs> <laughs> I tell people this. I, I guess. Um, I knew the show was a big deal. I mean, it's a giant hit. But I guess I didn't really realize that people actually watched it pra like in my head, practically. A lot of people watch TV. Yeah. I mean, I watch it. So, of course, I don't know. And so, the day after it aired, I was walking down the street, and I just, I heard... Just went, and I'm like, what? Somebody is running after me, and it is like a middle-aged woman with her grandchild asking me, what is it like to kiss Chase Crawford? The, wow. the woman is, the grandmother is. And I was like, whoa, I really had no idea how many people would want to know that. He's delightful. And pretty. And very pretty. He's lovely blue eyes, he was super sweet. We only got to do it like three times, which was kind of a bummer. That's bummer. But um, it was, we slipped right into it, it was very comfortable. She got a slow motion walk <laughs> on that episode she did. She got the hot girl walk. That's pretty special. When no, you get but to I that... didn't get the recurring role. But listen, when you get to that level where you can have a hot girl slow motion walk. It was pretty cool. I didn't you, know that was going to happen. You've hit it big time, I think, yeah. as far as hotness goes. <laughs> Thanks. You're hot. You're sweet. And hot. It's your turn. Okay. I didn't switch the... Oh, from Rosie. I like that. I'm in love with your YouTube series, Billy Green. What inspires you to make those episodes? What was it like showing your butt? <laughs> and who has been your favorite person to make a guest appearance? He loves showing his butt. That nobody, <laughs> nobody has ever forced Wesley to take his pants off. <laughs> it's true. Um, Rosie, Rosie? Rosie. Rosie. I think, unless it's Rosie, but it's R-O-Z-Z-I-E. Anyway. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie. Um, I came up with the idea for Billy Green when I was in college and we were doing um, showcases for casting directors and agents and um, and I couldn't find a scene that was funny enough to do with my friend and so we just wrote one and we didn't tell the teachers because you're not allowed to write one. So we just like, this is from a book of short scenes by Daniel Parker. You've never heard of Daniel Parker? Um, and we did it and it was like this huge hit and everyone loved the scene. <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, it was from a showcase scene. Oh. So then um, I took that scene and it was, and I kind of like rewrote it a little bit, and that was the pilot, the first episode of Billy Green. My favorite guest appearance 
Probably, I can't tell you because it's, it's about to come out. This is from Jason. Have you had a chance to meet Christina Ricci yet? No. Um, did you refer to her performance as Wednesday in the movie to help no. shape your take on no, Wednesday in the musical? <laughs> When I heard that she was coming into Time to Stand Still, I got really nervous. I kept like going around telling people like she's two blocks away and I'm over here and I'm like, what if she comes to see the show? And it was it wasn't but an she exciting. Was a kid. I know, but she was so good. Yeah. She was so good. That and this musical version is so different than that. Right. Um, there's barely any times when I, I'm able to kind of draw on that source material because it's like the, this story is her being in love and her being happy and all kinds of She's weird. She's a woman now. Yeah. So no, I was very nervous, and um, I'm kind of glad she. I haven't met her yet because I would be really nervous. But if she wants to come, I would be more than happy to come. Her. I think she's awesome. I've always loved her. Now and then. Such a pretty movie. Okay, my turn, right? If you could, oh, this is from Tess. I'm sorry, Tess. If you could perform any song on stage, what would it be? Uh, perform any song on stage. For, well, I do want to. I do want to be in Floyd Collins. I want to. I want to be Floyd in Floyd Collins. So all of that. Um, you heard it here, folks. Yeah. He's so, secreting it so, on the couch put, at Broadway.com. Put, putting that out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a hard question. It is hard. It's just like any song on stage. Oh, I really like um, that song that Gavin sings um, on. In bounce, talent. You know that song? You saw that. If I was a tank, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. This is gonna be edited out, right? Well, I clearly would love to sing the song because I have. I'm so familiar with it. You're so familiar with it. It really makes such an impression on you. I love it. I love it. I love it every time I hear it. I'm not the best at show tunes. I have to be honest with you. I'm not. Yeah. I still can vouch for that. I, I need to get better at, at my musical theater video. Krista, Matt says, good vibrations. Oh, okay. Spill. Spill? That's all he says. Okay. Um, I mean, what is there to spill about? It was my, what? What? No, please. It was my, um, my Broadway debut. It was not a hit. Uh, everybody involved did everything in their power to make it a hit. Um, it was... Surfboards? Surfboards. In fact, I guess there, I, I did this already and I, um, there's a, a concert series called If It Even Only Runs a Minute and it's about, you know, shows that are really short-lived, but it's not in like a way that's like, oh, you were a flop. It's like celebrating them, like let's sing the great songs from this show or let's talk about all the ways that it did things, you know. So uh, they asked me to do it about Good Vibrations, and I did like a literally like a 12-minute stand-up act about like all the stuff. But I can't really. I had notes. Um, so if you look that up on YouTube, you can get all the dish. Okay, my turn. From Allison, if you could guest star on any television show, what show would it be? Um, you know that is a good question. It is. I. Uh, uh, you know, my my big shows right now are Modern Family and uh, Parenthood, and uh, uh, I was really into True Blood. I kind of got off of it for a little bit recently, um, uh, but like extras and the comeback, these shows that aren't on anymore that no. are like my. It's always so frustrating. If I could have been on like extras or the comeback, I probably would have been able to die. Happy but now night. they have like The Office, which is kind of the. Right. I would want to be on The Office. Well, of course, I'd also want to be on Glee. Because that's the number one show of right. all time, all of a sudden. Right. And it'd be fun to yeah. get on Glee, and we, we always get a, we always get asked. Oh my gosh! It's at the, the stage, it's probably question. like the most, other than what is it like working with Nathan Lane? Most asked question at the stage door or in any interview is, when are you going to be on Glee? Yeah. And no, mine is always like, do you know Leah Michelle? I'm like, yes, we did a show together. Are you? Does that mean you're going to be on Glee? Yeah. Nope. Why, why can't you be on Glee? When are you gonna? I'll just call. Can't you just? I'll just call be them on up Glee? and ask for a part. Yeah. <clears throat> Krista, how is it having Jackie Hoffman in your family? I love Jackie Hoffman. This is from Brett. I have to say, the idea before I knew Jackie of working with Jackie scared the bejesus out of me. Intimidating, kind she's of. She's super first. intimidating, but she's actually lovely. Yeah. 
She um, has a great, um, just, she's warm. She'll never, she'll deny this to, you know, the ends of the earth. I know she's, she's a bigbroadway.com nice yeah. favorite with her vlogs. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, we fight a little bit over my Broadway.com award. She's yeah. real mad about that still. And I, I still I still say, Jackie, Kevin got one, Bibi got one, Nathan got one. I'm the only one that she's mad at for. It's because my dressing room's next to hers and she can steal it easy. Right. Yeah. And the rest of them. But um, I, I have a blast working with her. Sometimes it's hard to know when to say your line if you follow her. Because <laughs> you don't know what she's going to say. Anyway, it's great. Love Jackie. Jackie's the best. Okay. What, this is from Carla. What roles did you play in high school and college? I could name them all. In fact, I've seen a video of Wesley <laughs> playing Ren and Footloose. He, he also choreographed it. Oh my god, Krista. I'm sorry. What? This is what I'm here just, for. I wasn't... I wasn't like showing her all of my productions oh, from come high school. We were in Chicago. We were. I had friends from high school in Chicago that just got me the DVD of our high school production. Of I Footloose. didn't say that you tied us to a chair and made us watch your videos. Well, I kind of did. I kind of did. Um, um, but, but he had long hair, and it was parted down the center, and he would strategically use it in the show to pull it back to like be super cool. And uh, I really resent you right now. I really ca I can't stand up. I really want to do the the, the intro to it. no oh. the intro to I can't stand still. <laughs> it was like I, it was ridiculous. You I, know, because like in high school, you don't you can't have the orchestra like come in with your cue right. line. So there's always like the the you know. Oh right. Obligatory. No, 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 no. You didn't know what I was no, talking no, no. about. No, no, I thought you were talking about something else. Oh, um, obligatory like exactly eight what bars of now. intro there's that you have to fill. Eight bars of intro. So I, he's like. Something, something, whatever the line is, like lean into it. And then he's like, walk this way, walk this way. I have a to start the song. But his hands are like. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> his hands are like this. He's so, walk this way, walk this way. Carla, I'll give you some of mine. He also played Falstaff. Some of my resume. In college, uh, I was uh, uh, Falstaff and Henry Ford. That was my favorite thing I've ever done. Fat suit, wig, everything. Speed and Two Gentlemen of Verona. Uh, uh, Anatole in The Game of Love. Action in West Side Story. Anyway, we're gonna, um, we're gonna move on. Move on. Go. Uh, Add a T. Uh, I think. I think that's how you do it. Um, Add a T. Oh, or a Diddy. A Diddy. And Diddy wants to know, what other Broadway show would you love to do with Wesley? <gasps> How fun! Didn't we come up with a show that we were going to do together? Oh, yeah. Um, be fun. Maybe something where we don't like each other. Maybe something yeah. where we, like, hate each other or we fight or something. Well, we're fighting all the time in Adam's family, too. Yeah, that's true, but it's out of luck. Um, 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 maybe we could do Cabaret together. That's not yeah, stupid. Yeah. They hate each other. But I, mean, I want to be the MC, though. You want to be the MC. But we can still do it together. We don't have to be. That's true. You can be can the MC. We still, and I'll can be we still work both. together and we don't have to be like opposite well, each other? Well, that's not what it said, right? What did it say? What we do you mean, Adam? Together. What do you really mean? What did it say? That it you, says, what other Broadway show would you love to do, do with, with Wesley? Wesley? No, we don't have to be, you know, romantic leads. All right, You're the MC, Cabaret. Cabaret. That would be fun. Done. There's many more, though. We'll think of more later. All right, we'll post it on our Facebook site. All right, so we're done. Um, we're really happy that we got to answer your questions. Had a lot of fun with you guys today. Yes, and with each other. Get off me. Anyway, um, uh, come and see the Adams Family. Please. We're having a great time at the Lenfontan Theater, and uh, we know you will too, so come on by. <laughs>